but the third question I would have is, uh, what are, okay, so we made a, me and Kirby made a video on this. I don't know if you guys saw it, it as a recent video, but um, it was basically, I don't even know if it's posted yet, but anyway, it, the, the topic was people always ask us, like, how do you guys enjoy your money? Like, you guys are just hermits. So our question to you would be just that. How do you guys enjoy your money? Our response was, we like seeing it grow. We like knowing that we can do whatever we want. We like knowing that uh, we have a sense of security. We're taken care of. You know, our assets are producing more. That's how we enjoy it. I don't know if it's the same for everyone who's financially successful. So how do you guys enjoy your money? We uh, mostly, it's like I was telling Lynn, it's like Monopoly, like a game. Because <laughs> okay. No, it's like <laughs> we're all on the same page. Okay. <laughs> it's like, okay, I like winning at the same time because people sometimes, uh, you know, they don't want to say this. You like winning. Okay, it's good. You just like to make more money. Do we eat the best chicken in the world? No. We go to the same store, buy the same stuff. Because I tell Lynn, I don't have time to eat. Like, we don't have time to sitting and enjoying slowly eating the best chicken. Once in a while, I tell Lynn, I, I think eating is a waste of time. <laughs> it's a task. And I'm like, I don't want to feel hungry. I, I wish I could spend more time with my kids, my family, enjoy and be happy. Right. But we eat the basic. We cook at home. We try eating healthy. If we go out and we are going out, we spend a good money, good, good quality amount instead of eating every like yeah. constantly outside. We'll go on a one nice meal or a trip. Right. With our family and at the same time mm -hmm. we, we enjoy just looking watching our income grow like having to, like right. you know two houses we have an rv uh, we lived in the rv too so it's enjoying is very much a mindset um so like the way i'm in so, so other travel nurses are like oh i'm enjoying my money by going to ireland or the bahamas or mexico or like just all this travel and for me my mindset is Cause sometimes I'll catch myself in that. Oh, I want to be traveling this, that I'm like, you know what? No, I'm, I'm uh, spending my money on monopoly and um, we're playing a real life game of monopoly. And that makes me feel so much more enthusiastic about it. Also, we do spend the majority of our time on the West coast. So there's a lot of like hiking. Um, yeah, for sure. That's, we'll go hike and then we'll come home and cook. And that to me is better than going out. Yeah. Yeah, no. spending money. The thing is, like Illinois and Midwest, like like the boring states, there's nothing to do. That mm -hmm. other, you have to spend money to do something. Right. Like if you go out, you're like, what's the fee to enter this area? I'm like, is there something we can do? Enjoy nature, going fishing, having you know a small boat. You don't need an expensive boat, a cheap boat. Go fishing, just in nature. Go Not swimming. In Not in the here you cannot <laughs> see. There we go, just hike. And, you know, we, we don't blow our money on anything crazy other than gas to drive. What brings me to this is like, even though we are in the Midwest, we are enjoying our money a little bit differently now. We did come here because um, we had to attend to this real estate property that we have right now. So I think, yeah, we are spending a little more going out and enjoying. Because we miss all Illinois food, Chicago food. Because in, in the West Coast, the food is horrible. No, it's, just in the Southern. <laughs> it's ninety nine percent Caucasian, so I'm like, okay, I need some, I, I need some cultural food. Yeah. Like these guys don't know to cook anything. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think it's it, it it's definitely situational. The majority of it is like you guys said, enjoying seeing, watching your money grow. Um, for us, we love watching our money grow. And we love hiking, but we can't hike here. So we do somehow find a way to go out to eat, whether it's a business meeting and it becomes like a write-off because we're making um, plans with our businesses, with Unshackled, with our real estate. We're talking about that while we're out to eat. Um, so in a way, it is still pouring into making the money grow. Yeah. But, what do um, we spend? We are like, we like, you know, we'll try to get the benefit of being a business owner having an llc have being in real estate or right. you know yeah right exact kirby you had something yeah i had some i'm over here laughing oh man classic because i agree a lot on the, a lot of the points that they're saying um the, the main one me i'm like the master of business because i like to go out and eat i'm in florida so I like to go out and eat. But I was born and raised in the Midwest. I was from Detroit, Michigan. So I understand exactly what you mean uh, by that. But yeah, but the, the good part about it, and I just wanted to call this out to reiterate it, to just continue to give you motivation, is you're, you both came from backgrounds that wasn't 
financially secure. And then now you're learning the financial literacy, you're actually putting it to action. It's okay to read a book, but if you're not putting it to action, it doesn't mean anything. Oh, we had a video about that one also. But, but you're actually putting it to work. So what you're doing now will actually change the legacy of your family moving forward. Your kids seeing you put, the, put this stuff into action so they will regurgitate and start repeating the same steps that you do. So I just want to say kudos to y'all. Good job. And I love the story. I love the story. Thank you. Thank you. You have in our shirts which we bought. Like people are like, oh, let's buy sweatshirts. We have it oh, on. Oh, very cool. Channel. Kirby, yeah. we gotta do that. <laughs> <laughs> we. Gotta, I don't know why we don't have merch yet. Yeah, <laughs> and it's not to like sell or make money. It's just like you know what? Merch. If you want to, if you want to buy <laughs> yeah. sweatshirts, why not have our brand? And why do we pay taxes? And we can. They ask some people ask me, what's this thing? And we tell about our there YouTube. You and so yeah, <laughs> like a good idea. I think we should do that, Kirby. Um, <laughs> my my fourth question to you guys. I like it. What advice would you give to others who are parents and may think that becoming financially successful is not possible when you have kids? It's your mindset. It's <laughs> if you say that it's not going to happen. You're right. If you say it's not possible, you know, it's not going to work because I know people who have five, six, seven kids and they are gr- like hustling and making it work. And when we didn't have kids, I think we hustle less <laughs> yeah. and now when you have kids we are grinding every mm-hmm, minute mm-hmm. like i'm on the like literally i sometimes feel i need to pause this yeah. is too much for me because mm-hmm. i slept for four hours woke up i'm spending time tomorrow is a party i'm booked every minute <laughs> but we are grinding so hard passively we have so much stuff going on, on the side yeah. that we are like okay we're doing it so it's a mindset the moment you change your mindset and say mm-hmm. it is possible and we're going to risk it and do it once and accomplish one goal second third fourth hundred goals will hit and you're like wait this is possible <laughs> my yeah my biggest advice going off of what stan says it's the mindset stan taught me this mindset called find a way um and that mindset with all those kids you have to find a way um that's whether you're doing research or just critically thinking okay i need this this and this to be financially stable how could i do it with kids for example stan and i he's like i, I wanted to really work but i had kids and i'm like oh well Childcare is just so expensive. It sounds like Lynn, you want to work, but do you have to make money? I said, no. He's like, so who cares if childcare is expensive? Find a babysitter and you're maybe only making like, you're making less than like what a normal nurse would make, but at least you're working. And like, it's basically like pay the babysitter to be able to work because you're making money anyways. It's, or like, if you guys want like, some parents are like, oh, I can't pick up overtime because I can't pay the babysitter. Well, isn't the overtime you're making more than what you're paying the babysitter and you're still ending up with more cash? It's critically thinking, like find a way in that sense. And I'm not being greedy, you know? So my thing yeah. is, if you make money, give it like big right. quality. Like the more you give in the world for help or someone right. to help you out, right. you're going to, your mindset when you start giving more or helping others right. is going to, you're going to make bigger return so right. like you're like no we will get a babysitter we'll pay them pay, well pay them well at the same time and that just made us make and more if money they're working overtime because we're trying to work overtime like give them overtime hours yeah, set, a, set a higher rate for them working more than 40 hours a week and i think that is ultimately like um that it's, you're just gonna find a way with with kids find a way um for us even it doesn't even have to be financially, but like most people, they say, oh, I can't travel with kids. I mean, Stan and I just traveled like from Oregon to Chicago, basically across the whole country with two kids under one. Two babies. One, we have a newborn. He's now nine weeks, but we came and he was four weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. And we lived in an RV. Like people are like, oh, it's impossible to live with two kids in an RV. I said, we live comfortably and we enjoy and we miss it. And my thing is, it's your mindset. If you say, whatever you say is going to happen. Like we have a whiteboard, we write, the impossible and we say look at it like steve harvey keeps saying you know write the goals and keep looking at it every day your mind will start sparking ideas to Mm -hmm. make that work that's Uh the big secret i learned i'm like my our minds are so powerful if you write something down your mind will start sparking to get that Mm -hmm. to happen even though it's impossible so i love what you're saying and i know it's music to kirby's ears right now he's probably loving what you're saying um and to your point with uh I guess like it must be a Midwest thing because the reason I asked that question is because at least in Florida, 
the majority of parents that I've encountered just like give up when they have kids. There's no real mo- Kirby's actually texting me now. <laughs> he said, I love it. Okay. So um, there's no motivation. It seems for many parents that I've encountered down here. Once, once they have kids, they kind of just give up. So it's really great to see that you guys use that as a motivation uh, to work harder. Um, I know my mom was that way. She didn't really figure out the, you know, financial literacy part, but she did work really hard. And it, it's, it's great to see parents actually do that. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, hit the like button, subscribe, check out their channel for sure. And we'll see you guys in the next video as always.